All right, mini season day two. Day one was a flop, uh, but we came out to the Gulf today and at least we can see. You couldn't even see, you couldn't see the hand in front of your face out in the Atlantic side yesterday. So we got this spot. There is a billion boats out here. Oh my goodness, a million boats. So we're just finding an open spot. We're just going all the way up the Gulf side, just looking for bugs. Welcome to Florida Keys Life. Okay, this is our new route to get out to the Gulf. It's kind of long. It's about a 25 minute run or so to get out to the Gulf. Um, it's kind of sketching spots and narrow. We didn't get introductions on the boats, but we got Nathan and Ethan. They've been on the boat before, and uh, Reagan and Aubrey. I think they saw some small lobster over there, so I told them to go double check, make sure there's not bear ones. Still just scouting spots, moving from spot to spot, not spending a ton of time trying to find them. But there's a billion boats out here, and it's day two, so not looking good. All right, so we've tried six spots, maybe eight spots. A lot of empty holes. <laughs> But the crazy thing that we don't have an empty slot of is boats. Look, I don't know if you could see on the horizon there, but my gosh, this is Sawyer Key. Uh, and we've hit everything from Key West up to here. We were gonna make it to the contents, but it's just solid boats. We're dodging boats the whole way. Every place we checked is empty. This is a zoo. I've never been out here on mini season. Maybe this is normal. What? What'd you do? I almost hit my head apparently. Yeah. Trying to flip? flip? Yeah. Yeah. All right. No, we're going to do it. Back to the mini season. At least for us is a bust. I'm sure people got something if you, I guess if you got out here super early, but man. I'm not sure what local folks think about it. I mean, I'm, I live here. I'm not a fan. All right, guys. So I'm going to recap this. Uh, lobster mini season so i'm as you know i'm not from here uh, i've only owned a house here for a couple two and a half years lived down here for a little over a year every time for mini season we've always been out of town so as you saw in this video um we didn't have any luck so it's gonna be a short video uh we're actually as i'm filming this right now it's on saturday morning when i'm gonna post this video today so it's gonna be quick but uh this storm's actually running through they haven't named it yet it's i think it's supposed to be named debbie at some point but Fortunately, it's missing Key West by quite a ways. I feel for some people, it looks like it's going to hit the Big Bend and then let's go up through Charleston a bit. Um, so we uh, we will pray that things will be all right for those folks. But fortunately, we were spared with just some stormy weather, as you see here. Now, the first day of mini season, I didn't really film much. We went out on the Atlantic side because that's right right outside our front door here, and uh, the, it was it was blowing like 18 to 20. Waves were like two and a half to three foot seas, and we couldn't see the hand in front of our face. Now, one disadvantage we have, we just moved down here to this house, which is closer to Key West. We don't have the spots that we were normally used to up near uh, Little Torch, where our other house was, so we were scouting while uh, also trying to get lobster. And so that didn't work out so well. I will post a card up here to the video uh, that Aaron and Madeline Young did with Key West Waterman. Love their channel, love that guy. I hope you I hope you watch it. I'm sure you probably do if you watch my channel. Um, but uh, they, from here, or have lived here for a long time, uh, and they scouted ahead of time, which I'm working on this house, scrambling uh, at some point to get this house done. I hadn't had any time to do any scouting down here. And so they went out on the Atlantic side. They knew right where the lobster were, even though visibility was very poor. They were able to basically put their mask right down in the lobster hole and grab lobster and got their limit really quick. I'm also retired, so 
the likelihood of me getting up at like 6 a.m., 7 a.m. to go out and do this kind of stuff. No, I live here. I've told, I recapped my lobster mini season to some of the locals down here and they just laugh. A lot of them don't even bother with mini season because it's such a zoo. But this is what I want to talk about. And so, uh, while I've reiterated, I'm no expert. I just want to tell you my observations. So weather was poor out in the Atlantic, nobody was out there. We even, on the way back in, we went out to the edge of the reef just to see, even though it was three foot sea, see if, if water clarity was any better. It wasn't uh, on the Atlantic side. So we went out to the Gulf. Uh, now the way the, the wind was blowing that day, south, southeast, so it made it much better in the Gulf. You see, uh, the forecast was like 1.5 to 1.7 or so foot seas. And it was pretty much that's what it was in close to the water it wasn't m as much wind the the uh the land the islands gave us a little bit of protection and water clarity was pretty decent in the gulf but as you saw it was not hundreds of boats there was thousands and it may not showed up as well in the in the uh on the camera as it did in person but there was we were dodging boats the whole way we went over a hundred we went about 120 miles round trip uh to get out to the gulf and then we went almost all the way to the contents uh, and then we hit at least 12 spots, maybe more. And, and I'm scouting at the same time, but I'm looking at, uh, uh, you know, I have Garmin's relief map and I'm looking at uh, different things. And, and the spots that we dove, many of the spots were really good spots. You could see there was lobster holes there, uh, holes where lobster would be. There was coral heads, we found shelves, we found all that stuff. I didn't film a whole lot because we didn't get any lobster. Um, but they were all empty holes because there was thousands of boats it was insane uh, and I texted a few local guys they just left yeah the Gulf usually gets picked over pretty good well I'm not here to talk about being picked over it was completely decimated I mean anything from the shore out to about 15 feet which is where we're diving we're only 15 to 20 foot free divers uh, and uh, was picked clean I mean not a lobster uh, I even talked to another local that was up near the contents and uh, the second day they went out with a boat full of guys that are super squared away divers and whatnot and they got one lobster. Uh, I'm out here with kids and I'm not that great either. We got zero lobsters. In fact, on the way in I texted Haley and had her swing by a local uh, seafood market and pick up some lobster tails because we wanted to eat some lobster. Uh, so anyways, lobster mini season for us was a fail. Some people did well. Some people did mediocre. A lot of people went home with nothing. Now, the one thing I want to point out, though, is that um, I'm retired. I live here, so it's not like the end of the world. If you come down here on vacation, oh, I really feel for you. Spend a lot of money down here and get no lobster. Uh, weather conditions and all that are a thing. But I kind of want to talk about this mini season. It's a complicated issue. I, I've watched several people talk about it, including Aaron Young, who's who's much more knowledgeable about it than I am. Um, but it's it's a fine line between completely decimating the lobster fishery in the Gulf for a period of time, I and mean, I don't know how long it's going to take to recover, but quite a while. Uh, and I know some people are going to say you got to go out deeper. You got to go out. Deeper. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm I'm scuba certified. We'll go out deeper when the season opens up, and we'll get some lobster, and we'll find there'll there'll be some there's some that that escape through on the way in. But there's a couple issues I want to talk about. One, the mini season I think is there to kind of buffer between the recreational season and the commercial guys. That's one thing that I love when lobster is closed is there's not commercial pots in the water. And so you're dodging them the whole time you're running to go fishing anywhere. Constant lobster pots. And then when stone crab season starts you get stone crab and lobster pots all in the same friggin area and it's oh my gosh you're dodging it the whole time. So that's a complication number one. The other side of that token is uh, there's many that that's their their wage it's how they earn their income down here is by uh, lobstering uh, or catching stone crabs on a commercial thing so it supports local families so I support that um, the other side of the token looking at it from the recreation I mean you think okay from for me the local and there's a lot of bahumbug locals that say oh shut down lobster mini season we don't want the people you know our local lobster get hammered local environment gets hammered I get that uh, and and I could certainly side with that part of the argument, but the other side of it is that every friggin' income down here in this Keys, well, I shouldn't say that, nearly every income down here in the Keys relies on tourist income. Whether it's the charter fishing captains, the restaurant people, the the tourists, the, the, the paddle boat operators, the the even the people who look for work for local government. My neighbor at Little Torch, 
works for the local county maintenance department. The county will not have money to maintain their vehicles if it's not for local tourist uh, income and the tax generated from those activities. And so everything down here relies on tourism. So to say, oh, let's shut it down, I think that's a very nearsighted, selfish uh, perspective to take. I'm not an expert. I'm just telling you my observations. So it's a complicated issue. I can now the mini mini season. We were out of out of town. The weather was a little bit better, and and I I, I think I think that can make some sense. But the the two day mini season. I mean, it was just. And I kind of seem like the keys are kind of not super busy right now, tourist traffic wise. I mean, on the roads and walking around town and that kind of stuff. I mean, it's busy, but it's not like nuts busy. But on the water mini season oh my gosh it was like every single local was out and then every tourist every snowbird everybody that had a boat down here was out on the water and it was it was crazy I mean you see you know some news articles about people getting hit and different things going on it was and, and I think this was more tame than in the past I've heard I've heard horror stories from the past so I'm just telling you my observations from mini season this year oh my goodness uh, I don't know a lot of people even laugh that I even went out because uh, a lot of locals don't even bother and I can get that perspective too so I don't know we'll see next season but um, appreciate you watching I've, I've been super busy it's not a great video because we're working on this house I bought this fixer upper here basically and so we're getting it squared away uh, uh, at some point I'll show you a little bit more about it and uh, we got the war the storm today so pray that everybody's safe today and I appreciate you watching be sure to like and subscribe have a great day